Hello everyone and welcome back to a new tier list. Today we're doing a tier list for the best zone attack in the game. And this time around I have done it a little bit differently. I have gathered some professional players and really knowledgeable people about the game to discuss the placements openly and see our exact thought process and arguments for each decision. I think this is a very good format for everyone since we basically get to have an open discussion out of which everyone, including myself, can learn some things. Now before we start, I would like to mention that the most important factors when judging a zone attacks are the following. It's speed, it's range, hitboxes, follow-ups, stamina, and special properties such as unblockable or hyper armor or undodgeable, or other special properties such as like its ability to gank for berserker and raider, its safety such as recovery speed, recovery cancel, and type of recovery cancel is also important and the last factor we took into account it's minion clear so yeah big thanks to alexan blitz and tetsu for helping me out all wonderful people now let's get into it how, how about this how about this i'm just gonna place heroes yeah and, and then we we'll see how we feel about it okay yeah okay that's still right there yeah yeah. Yeah. Warlord. Eight here? Yeah. 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 I, I think uh, I think Zahn also deserves us here. Yeah, for sure. Of course. Yes, yeah. Of course, of course. I mean yeah, we'll get there, I guess suppose. Pirate yeah. Pirate S tier? No. Uh, yeah. Um I don't think so. The zone is not it's not so it, ha it has the recovery cancel, it has really good hitboxes. Six hundred. It does, but um but it didn't have like a really big hitbox though. It has a good hitbox, but like it won't, it won't like, you know, reach people. I feel like, it, it, like okay. all, all around. Tight hitboxes. It doesn't have range and it doesn't have that much forward momentum. That's uh, the thing. I think, it has range. I think it has a decent amount of range. Well, the thing yeah. is, it's better than Warlord and Kensei. That's for sure. So yeah, like, yeah. if if we're gonna not put her S tier, we're gonna have to do this. I agree. Yeah, I see that. Okay, okay. so. So I don't know like, if I put her above Jean Hu though. Nah, I think Zanhu is S, like easily. Yeah. Yeah, Zanhu is S. Like Zanhu has so many things. I mean, Zanhu has like clo pretty much the same zone as Pirate, but uh, is it faster 100 ms and has special property which is undodgeable as well? It's, it's the same speed. speed. Yeah. It's the same speed, but it has a special property too. Yeah, yeah. and he can, he can also it, crush and counter out of it or uh, deflect or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. It's also 360, it has a better hitbox overall. Mm. Yeah, it's just... Same chance to like a pretty mediocre UV, but one at least. Yeah, it's better than nothing. So since we place Pirate, we can place the Pusher since it's almost the same storage yeah. attack? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Orochi is very close to Pirate, in fact. Orochi is... Yeah, I, I, I think Orochi is also... Uh, also I, think I, think I mean, Orochi has yeah, way less range. Point. Has way less range, but faster speed. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not really yeah. seeing. He can character. also deflect out of it, though. Yeah. Okay. But like, for... I, I think bottom A, bottom A. But, in my I think there is a power difference between uh, uh, Pirate and Orochi, and I, I don't think I don't think like necessarily Orochi is better than uh, Warlords. Like the argument is that you can deflect out of it, but uh, what I value more is range and peeling capability, which I don't think really. Uh, or what he has on his own. I feel like, but one thing it does do much better is keeping himself safe. Like, if you're trying to uh, initiate on Orochi, he can just press external zone and then just dodge away, and you can't really do much. The like, keeping himself safe, it's uh, really good. It just doesn't work well for the team, I guess. Yeah, like, I think that, I, I, I think that, like, Cancer and Warlord are still better than Orochi, though. As, well, you know, their impact is more to other teams, but... Uh, I'd yeah. agree with Top B. I'd agree with Top B. I, I agree with this as well. Um, yeah. What is also easy placement? Lowbringer? Like around Lowbringer. here? I think, like yeah. B, I think B. But the yeah. somewhere around there. Like he has slow zone mm -hmm. attack, just really, really fast recovery. Yep. Uh, Shugoki. Shugoki is actually A, I think. Maybe like yeah, even top I so. I, I agree with that. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. No, I actually like want to make a case for S. Like he has hyper armor. Hyper uh, armor I'd say I'd say top A. I, he can still eat for yeah. it. Yeah, that, that is true. 
And the high parameter is not actually that early. I mean, it's such a high parameter, which is amazing, but comparatively, it's not that early, which well, already start. makes a difference. But uh, if I recall, it was like 400 ms into the. Uh, I'm gonna actually check real quick. It, yeah, if it's uh, 400 ms yeah. for neutral high parameter, that's really yeah. fast. That's really fast. I mean, considering that the whole attack is 600 ms, it's not that fast, but yeah, it's good. It's really good overall. But it's not instant. It's not like you're fucking dealing with like uh what was it like Kansas side sidelights after like a third chain, you know. It's not that right. good. It's really good. I, I still like it, yes, that, that is true. It has a bad start on high prime, but I just think that like the fact that you can still combo uh after getting hit in the high prime is also really big. Oh, you're yeah. gonna appear like sure. one teammate and that one teammate cannot do anything after you follow mm -hmm. up. So let's say you attack mm -hmm. one guy, you can Afterwards, fully attack the other without being worried about being peeled. So I agree. I, I just think it's uh, I just think it's lower than Raider and Zon. Uh, sure. But I think, I think Raider, it's higher than like... Pirate and Nobushi. That's the thing. Yeah. Yeah. So I, yeah. I can agree with that. But I, 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 but I can also agree on Tope. Like uh, they, these characters also have oh, special awesome. properties. Is they have recovery mm. cancels? Why this guy has a uh, hyper armor? Mm. And it's faster, right? Yeah. Is, is it six hundred or five hundred? Six hundred, I think. Well, yeah, it's, it is secret. Alright. Someone else? Uh, Warden. I think Warden's, uh, I think Warden's A. Yeah, Warden's really good, it actually. Has insane recovery. It has insane like, recovery, 500, 500 MS recovery, speed. and it's great peel. Yeah, I can agree with this. Um, Tiandi? Tiandi? Alright. Uh, yeah, B. Yeah. Like, I it's, it's basically like the same zone attack as Kensei, if you think about uh, it. Yeah, it has much worse range though. Like extremely, Kensei... extremely fast recovery. One can say, maybe. Yeah, I, I like that place. Yeah, I, th I think it's good. I don't think it's as good as Kansas. <laughs> yeah, yeah let's I'll see. Mm -hmm. oh, also, yeah. another thing in uh, uh, Tiandi's zone: if you uh, if you dodge it, it's a guaranteed guard break. If he does yeah, so. there you go. If he faints it though. Well, uh, in, in in a team fight, if if you don't hit somebody with it, it's a guaranteed guard break every time. No matter what, like no anybody. matter yeah. if he is committed. Well, that mm -hmm. kind of doesn't that change his placement a little bit. It's, well, I feel like it's still really good peel, and it's really hard to get a GB because like yeah. your teammates can peel it. But I do think it's lower than uh, I I think it's still above LB in terms of like peel and usefulness. I just think it's lower than Kensei and Warlord for yeah. that reason. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree with this. I can see good placement. But uh, okay, mm -hmm. let's do some harder ones. BP. Like BP is terrible. See, I don't even know if I think C. Like, what does it really? Do? It yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe C or D. D. I think yeah. D. Honestly, it does nothing. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I'd agree with D. It doesn't really do much at all. Yeah, hey, you can't clear with it. You're gonna use it from neutral, like. Like it says, like one use, and that's like when you bait out the pre-dodge, so you get a guaranteed zone. That's that's basically. But if you're gonna bait out a pre-dodge, you could just do a delayed bash, even. You could also do that. Yes, I'm saying his zone is not good. Like, yeah, it, does, it does five more stamina damage than his bash, so it's not even that good of a stamina too. It's just not good. It's just really bad. It's really bad. And then in that case, Gladiator should have similar fate? Yes. Yes, 100%. I think it's a little better like, though, because at least like the second yeah. part, like, like, I think it's better. It can be used to like stall a lot better than BPs. You can like kind of fuck some setups if you use it. It, it, it can interrupt a lot of things. Yeah. I, I don't think it's necessarily like a bad 1v2 tool. I think zone can actually be yeah. used, okay? Yeah, exactly. But like that's its main use. You can't really use it for much else. But like I don't see it going above uh, B tier. But no. I, I think I think we could maybe use some more rows just in case. Yeah. Okay. Peacekeeper. More. Peacekeeper. <laughs> BP. Uh, I yeah. I think BK might be top C. Top C. Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay recovery. For top C. Yeah. Okay, recovery. Very low speed. Uh, no, fast speed, but low range and low hitboxes. Mm-hmm. But good recovery, so I feel like... It, it, eh. Like, Sorry. it's... It's basically, again, the same thing. It's a selfish zone. Uh, it won't help your team basically whatsoever, but it can help you to keep yourself safe. Much better than BP can do, in my opinion. Like, yeah. 
it wait, how much stamina does it cost? If it costs like little stamina, then it might be quite a bit better. But if it's like six, then it's just not very good. I don't think it's a lot of stam. Wait, let me see. I don't, think it's yeah, a lot I don't know. It's, it's not a lot of stam. The... Yeah, but I, I I agree with C placement. I agree. It's a really good selfie zone to do, uh, to peel yeah. with a little bit. Yeah. Um, also, I think that we should also consider stamina cost for some things. Yes, because, like, we, we are, we are. Okay. It is one of the factors. Alright. Oh, right. Conjurer. Conjurer. Uh, I, th I, th I think Cock, he deserves B at least. I don't... Like, if they, I, don't, have an if they don't have an unblockable, that's just... You just, you just do a free zone. They can't that, do that is, that is true. I... I I mean, maybe we can argue for like even a if that is. Yeah, that maybe. Is I mean, like in mid, you, it's hard to touch a conk yeah. to just unlock zones. Yeah, I mean that's I one. But who doesn't I have an unblock? I don't think to be honest. I would put it better than a ward. Well, or it, it's hard to um like I think the only one that can be used really well is raiders from neutral. The other ones, I feel like he has a decent recovery after it. You can fake yeah. parry. The, the thing is, you're really hard to approach, but you also don't achieve that much with that zone, do you? Uh, I don't think it's A. Oh, uh, you, you do. You, 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 I mean, you just achieve like really good defense. Like, it's yeah. a really good option. Like, there's all one external. It has the like, best defense, but it, it doesn't really peel for your teammates. Yeah, it it can't peel for your teammates. It can't really interrupt that many things. It's just, again, you slow down the game to where you have to approach, but you don't exactly do anything to help your teammate, your team. It's basically, yeah, I don't think it's A tier material, but you know. So, uh, I'd say bottom B. Like, it is a selfish zone yeah. that has a special property. Yeah. Maybe higher I than Lawbringer, though. I think higher than LB, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Right, right now, I'm not really, like, super paying attention to, like, the placements between the uh, oh, okay. uh, same tier, where okay. we can organize afterwards. Yeah, yeah, just the general. This is skeleton, but... Um... This is hard. I almost shot. If bad, you can... Bad hitboxes, right? Yeah, like if it was Tarnit Soho, it would be quite good, but you cannot do that, which is like my main problem with it. Okay, well, what is the difference between our Musha's and PK's on attack? Like it is the same startup, it's just that PK is trains way faster and has the lower recovery. And yeah. But our Musha has an unblockable follow up if he does choose to commit, which has actually good hitboxes. Like, it oh, it, has, yes. it. it has fantastic hitboxes and fantastic recoveries. <laughs> Like, it's, it's better than Tiandis. But, is it better but, than Tiandis? I think it's better than Tiandis. Like, it's also very similar to Tiandis. I, I think it? it's yeah. better than Tiandis. Yeah, I think it's... Yeah, I think that's exactly what... Yeah, I think so. Like, the only drawback I see to this zone is, like, it's really bad uh, forward range. Like, you have to be really close and able to do it. Yeah. But in general, with our Musha, you have to be close to do things. Anyway, yeah, that's, I like that uh... placement. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, we, we can do... Uh, Junk, so we can get Griffin after afterwards as well for free. Uh, I I think I think JJ maybe even beats here because of Sifu zone. Yeah, yeah like Sifu zone. Do we consider we that as a that. zone? I think we should. It's still a zone. Like so the zone input. Yeah, I mean the thing is like we consider Raider chainsaw, right? We consider that. Do we? No, I thought no, we, we just considered neutral. Just neutral. Yeah, I, I agree. With you. Yeah, yeah all right. I I think I think it's fair just to say just neutral. Zone. Okay, if if okay. it is not just neutral, yeah, neutral zone is bad. It's, it's bad, it's but it has Sifu afterwards. Which is yeah, no, does it? Like, no, it, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. No, right. Yeah, sure. that's, that's exactly why it's bad. It's the only move it... King can say besides King that cannot be like you know Sifu, and okay. which makes it very unsafe. But is it worse than BP? I don't think it's worse well, than BP. No, 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 I, no, I actually think like this zone does have a really good tool, same with Griffins, and that is in. One v two scenarios, like it has like instant, I agree, instant hitbox on like the left be behind left on the southwest part of his hitbox. Yeah, I agree. So this is like a selfish, a very situational tool. I think it's better than Glads for sure. I don't, I, I, I don't think so. I, I think Glads is better than one v I don't care you with that. I think, uh, I think where Barak has it, like bottom C tier is fine. Yeah. So then, if we have. If we have GG here, we can just put Griffin in the same thing because it's the same. Griffin, so, is, yeah, Griffin is after GG because Griffin has watched Chase. So, yeah. I mean, we're, we're considering. Yeah. I mean, it's basically like the same thing as JJ's, to be honest. So. It was what? just worse because the follow is worse. Yeah, just is, it's just worse because it doesn't chain to unblockable. Yeah. Yeah. 
He doesn't try to do anything really to suggest a light or a heavy that's yeah. Then then we can put him below. Yeah. No B. Uh, uh, I, think, I think A. I think I A. Think, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Shinobi's always really good. Heal tool and extremely hard to punish. That is true. Yeah, it's like with, with him boxes when it goes like for momentum. Yeah, it has nuts of range as well. Yeah, I think like maybe, I think, maybe, maybe above Warden. I, yeah, yeah, I definitely yeah. put it above Warden. I think it's also sort of cheaper. Like it costs less time than Warden. Like Warden is really good, but you can't use it that much. You know, you can kind of spam as long as you you don't have enough. But it's also it's hard to parry good. from a distance. It is. Mm -hmm. I think it would be helpful if we have information up open and we can just see like the exact stamina cost. Yeah. Uh, if I recall, Shinobi was forty. Uh, like, the one thing about Nubushi that I really think we are, like, understating is her stamina costs, uh, her zone costs 20 stamina, which is really insane. Like, oh, who's, who's, sorry? Uh, Nubushi costs only 20 stamina, compared to, like, the standard 60, which means it can be used a whole lot more than everyone else's, except for Raiders, I suppose. Raiders is actually better, because it's, um, yeah. uh, I just, I don't know, I don't know, I think, um... I think it might be above pirate for the stamina cost. I, I might agree yeah, with that. With pirate. I, I would like to check the stamina cost on the characters on B tier after we place every hero because I think uh, based on stamina cost we might uh, like make some adjustments in placements. Yeah, that's fair, that's fair. Yeah. Like Kensei's is a lot of stamina if I remember correctly. I think War Kensei's War zone Lords. might be a little bit overrated here, to be honest. Yeah, I Warlords also, it's half a stamina bar. Yeah, so is Shugoku, but yeah. Yeah, that, that is true. But I still don't think you can, like, put Kensei's Armus is also half the same in Is it? Nah, I don't know it's not Like, uh, cause like the paint costs 10 stamina, so that's like a big deal. But it itself is not that much stamina. No, actually, I don't, I don't think the paint costs anything. I, I've played Aura a lot in duels lately, and, uh, no, he's uh, his own. I don't think it costs Yeah, I'm actually confused with yeah, the stamina is just like, half the stamina for a zone. So yeah, 60, which is uh, not great, but you know, not the worst. Alright, so if we put Orochi in B tier, do we just automatically put Kyoshin as well, or do we value his full block over his deflecting capabilities? We, I think we value it lower. Lower? Uh, I, think, uh, I, I, I think it's pretty fair, especially in 1vx situations. That is actually I mean, a really good argument. Like, because if... It doesn't do anything about unblockables, but Rochi at least has some kind of he can yeah. dodge away from the unblockable. I think he's always a bit less safe overall. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, I agree. You might get a bigger reward with your full block, but like overall, it's less safe. Yeah, Which but still, sense. but still better than Warlords because of the kind of cost, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like this placement. Uh, like, uh, it's also like pretty important that in the meta right now there are two heroes that have neutral unblockables, which really fuck her up. And uh, and uh, JJ who has like C4 and Yeah, and yeah, lot of All right, let's let's do something easier. Let's uh, play some uh, bad zones to get them out of the way. Looks here, Shadow Realm tier, worst one of the world. I think Zerf might be uh, might be above BP just for like yeah. gank. Yeah, 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 yeah gank. Yeah, that's something. BP does nothing. So yeah. So, so Berserker Zone also has like okay peeling capabilities. Yeah, but the problem is like if you're fighting with someone who has a bit a bit more range, you're getting smacked yourself. Like if you're fighting a JD, you can just buff our heavy and you're getting hit. Yeah, I mean it. Okay, it has okay peeling range. Uh, okay hitbox. It has ganking capability, but the only problem is that this is a very selfless zone because, like, if you use it, you really expose yourself. Like, I think City is fair for it. Yeah, City is yeah. fair. Yeah, I think it's fair. Uh, Valk, I think Valk is uh, above BP just because it can clear, like, almost the entire mid lane. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Valk is quite decent. I'm, I think, like, every zone attacks above BP, to be honest. Yeah, it's literally P bottom. I agree. Yeah. Can we place yeah. BP I like think a Luke bit lower? Been... Like, uh, yeah. I, I don't I think Wayfinder yeah. and BP have the same yeah. zone attack. Same tier yeah. of zone attack. Oh no, this is always way better than BP. Not even close. I, 
I, I think Nuxia is better because at least Nuxia can clear with hers. I'm not so, okay. what you would want to do with it, but at least you have the opportunity. You have the opportunity to clear two minions for one fourth of your stuff, for one third of your stuff. That's better than clearing none for whatever BP does. <laughs> yeah, but I, I don't really, I, I don't think I really value clearing uh, minions that much. Yeah, it, it's the only thing they have, that's why. Like, it's literally the little but thing. It's the thing that, have. like, it's just as bad as BP's, but it at least has that, I feel. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I mean, what's his hitbox on, like, zone attack? Like, if I'm really close behind on the left, can I hit her, like, in 500 MS? Or... I'm not sure. Hey, the problem with Nuxia's zone attacks, it's very, very finicky. Uh, because of how it starts, if you are at a specific point, like, it may even appear to hit you, but it won't. But if you're on the point where it starts... If you're at a specific degree, it will hit you really fast about the 500. The problem is that's extremely specific timing. But, but like, the fastest it can hit is 500. Like that's the that's the thing. Like if you that angle perfectly, what you get is normal zone speed attack, which is 500. Yeah, that and traps cool. traps are one of the easiest reactions in the game just to light interrupt. So it's like. Uh, yeah, I don't even think having a trap is a very good. Damage. That's, I that think is this really is good. Cool. Like, I think yeah. both these zones are extremely situational and provide very little value. Yeah, I agree with that. Mm -hmm. Highlander, same tier? Maybe even Definitely more, same actually. tier. Yeah, then the problem is the two worst zones in the game. I do think Valk is, uh, I think Valk might be, might be above Griffin though. I think it's okay peeling tool and just the fact that it's hitbox can clear almost the entire mid lane is pretty nuts. Yeah, like it's hitbox is decent. And she has like a decent like wait, uh, she can chain to shoot bash, which is not the best, but it's it's at least a chain kind of. I also think that the most important factor with Valkyrie is like her uh, fast faint time after a zone attack, like she has really good recovery. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So D tier. Decent. I, are, we, are we sure D tier? I think maybe above D tier. No. Honestly. Yeah, I think um, I think maybe even above Zerg. I feel like it's yeah. a decent heal tool. It is. I like it's a better this better tool than all of these guys. Mm -hmm. It's, it's yeah. just like it's 100 ms lower than this guys. Like but, how, but but how much? But it, it has, has like decent recovery as well. Yeah, honestly, dude, I think this is an okay zone. Yeah, no, yeah. It, it, like, it's, yeah. It, I think it's below the Andy still, but I think it's just one spot below the Andy. How how diff how slower is the recovery on Valkyrie zone attack compared to? low bringer zone attack because i think the recovery is very close it's like maybe 100 200 ms difference i mean well, yeah the thing is as like what well, uh, elvis recovery is uh well, obviously the recovery and her painting however she has to paint her second uh, heavy which if i recall it happens at about so she needs to chain to it first which occurs like it's like 200 milliseconds full chaining maybe 300 and then it takes an additional 200 to faint because her attack is 600 ms. So for her to completely faint her zone uh, from the first hit landing, it's anywhere from 300 to 500 milliseconds. I'm actually going to check in a second. It's, it says here we can do it in 400 ms into bash, but I'm not sure if it's a regular faint. I like I drew f I I might be remembering wrong, but like I do think like she has a special faint property where she just faints instantly her second part of the dojo. No, no, they, they took that away after the yeah. uh, Valkyrie work. I remember uh, I was a Valk main on Xbox and I used to love doing that. Okay. It's okay. kind of like PK's instant faint window. Uh, the total timing it takes for her to do that is about 600 milliseconds, uh, give or take, because she has to also chain to the second part. That's and, still okay. Uh, oh no, that's very okay. Like That's very yeah. okay. Yeah, so I think this placement is okay. Uh, maybe like in the, somewhere in the middle, to be honest. Like I'd say here, below PK. Yeah. Yeah. I, I yeah. We, we can yeah. do that. We can just play. It's just pretty situational. Does your Mangander zone have hyper armor? No. 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 It's a 500 millisecond zone with a very, very bad range. Like very bad hit marks. <coughs> hit box. Pretty stupid stamina, I think it was 40 or 50, and uh, pretty mediocre follow ups. Yeah. And uh, it's just it's just mediocre zone, it's, it's that's it. It's just yeah. well, it's it's Griffin zone, but worse. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. literally 
Yeah, I think this is a good placement. Yeah. Okay, now the thing is like, we have Centurion. I'm not sure if Centurion is in it here or if he's slightly above these characters. I like it above him. For sure. So, so if he's he is above. above, like he's definitely not D. I don't think he's D. I think these guys have mm -hmm. better zone attacks than uh, Centurion, but could we do this? I think this is a decent hitbox though. The first hit oh, okay. and the recovery. The recovery is really good actually. No, okay. I use Space Centurion quite a lot. It has a very decent side hitbox, but it has a terrible forward hitbox. Uh, mm -hmm. It's really, really good for clearing mid, but that's, you know, okay. And it also costs a very, like, little amount of stamina. Uh, 20 for one hit and then 10 to faint. Which, like, again, you're not going to be using your stamina. Your Centurion can have 160 stamina. Stamina is never the problem. But, yeah, I think it's definitely about these characters. Yeah, I, I think it's fast enough recovery to, like, if you landed on Aramush's blade blockade to parry all the boss, right? It is, yes. So yeah, I, th I, think, I think it's a very fast recovery. It is a very fast recovery. So we agree on this placement then? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You just hit box. Maybe even above Yorm. Like, I think I, I think Yorm is very Yorm. similar. Very similar. Like, uh, what was it? Like, Centurion has a bit of like better range, but a slower zone. Uh, but better, like, safer, because he can fade faster. That's it. Uh, Yorm has a faster zone that has, you know, a bit forward range compared to... Let's see, I I value safety above all else, to be honest. I, oh, I so value good. safety okay, so if, Yeah, if we're valuing safety, I think, like, uh, even above JJ's, I think it's very safe. Like, it's, yeah. it's, safe. Like, it's very safe, it's just not that useful. But it's very, very safe. I'm gonna need the okay peel tool if they're like close to you. Because yeah, like it's very difficult. Like How would it, you what what's it hitbox is like? like um, exactly uh, they're, they're, they're okay. Uh I think the right hitbox is uh yeah. pretty decent. Like it hits very well on the sides if you're close to Centurion. But that's it. Like that's its hitbox strength, sides. Like, kind of like Warlord, but a bit less. It doesn't quite hit uh, as, as good as Warlord. Uh, it obviously has less range. I will put him here. Yeah. That's yeah. Fair. He took Kiri here? She could move in yeah, the future, but we can just make it like that and then you know, think later. I mean, maybe even above Yorm, because she can chain to 100 yeah, MS. Yeah, yeah, true, true, true. Actually, above yeah. all these characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I agree with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Warmonger, like either here or here, I'd say. I'll be right back. Uh, she's a 500 millisecond zone that has pretty medio eh, mediocre range, kind of okay. Costs out of stamina. It's basically exactly like old Warden zone, which is not too great. Like, it doesn't change to bash, it changes to hyper armor heavy, and uh, that's its good thing. So it's all right, but not great. I, it's below Mark in my opinion, because it just has less range. Yeah, yeah. I, I, it, it doesn't it, even initiate a batch. I don't know no, why it, it doesn't. Yeah. I think it, it, it doesn't. Should. It doesn't. It should, but it doesn't. Someone, I think here. Yeah, I think I think it's a good place for it. Shaman is just. I think uh, I think actually Shaolin is actually. Right. A decent tool. Like here, here, yeah. or here, I'd say. Uh, I, I would put um, it like below because Shinobi is here, and Shinobi does have another special property, which is like yeah. it's safest. But it all this this guy also has super low recovery. Like he can oh, faint. Yeah. No, he can faint every time in his zone. Yes, he can. Mm -hmm. This is not a bad zone. It's only oh, like oh, this box that doesn't have super good, but it's super safe. Yeah. I'd say either here or here. I, I I'm more prone to put it here than eight here. Yeah, I don't think it's quite eight here. Like I don't, I think it's a pretty decent bit here, so I don't think it reaches eight. But we can discuss later. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So these are the placements. Let's discuss like the placements like in between. Uh, like uh, arrange the placements in a tier. Yeah. I think that Raider has a better zone than Zanko. I think he's just so impactful, such a like integral part of the character. I mean, sorry, Zanko's zone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think the I think later, you can punish so many things with yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, but with Sanhu mm -hmm. you can also peel, and with Sanhu you can also mm -hmm. punish people that try to recover a cancel. But um, Raiders is also really uh, safe because you can train to uh, 100 MS hyper armor. It's yeah. hard to hard to punish it. 
like it takes Raider 300 milliseconds from the moment the zone ends to activate Hyper Armor, which is really good. We're cutting chain link and everything. Uh, it also can chain to another unblockable if needed. And it also has, like, a, it costs 20 stamina, which is three times less than Naku. I think it's just... Uh, good gank tool as well, uh, GB yeah. for Zone. Oh, yeah, true, true. Yeah, I think it's just a bit better. And... Okay, let's see. I think all of A's are pretty, like, accurate. Maybe yeah, I really a little like above, above pirate, but I think yeah, I think just the noble above pirate. <laughs> noble above pirate. Uh, it's we're a thinking pirate. I think yeah. pirate. I think pirate has better hitboxes, but does pirate? Does noble has like super fat, super low stamina cost? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Literally, very okay. low. It costs twenty if she can stop fighting to dodge. It costs either ten or nothing. Like also, I, I think she can. Uh, she can also uh, flow into hidden stance really quickly as well. Yeah. Also, mm, is Shinobi better than Shugoki? Because Shinobi is really good. For... I don't think so. Um, let me think. Maybe like, actually. It's like it costs a lot less time. Enough. I think it's like four total, right? Yeah, and it's also harder to parry. Yeah. Then you know he also can keep himself safe. Like he can't chain. But he can just throw out, and uh, you know not get damaged for peeling. Basically. Awesome! Awesome! Uh, all blocks cannot punish it because yeah. he can think fast enough to parry the all block attempt. Shugoki's own attack is 60 stamina. That, is, that uh, changes his placement quite a lot. Like, I put yeah. it here now. Yeah. Like, above Warden, that's it. Like, above Warden. Yeah, it's Warden, Warden has. Definitely. Has worse zone attack. But, yeah, but Warden's is also like yeah, half a stamina. Yeah. Yeah, Warden's is also 60. Mm -hmm. So 60? What the fuck? Why so many zone attacks for 60? Because they're all like so modern. They need oh, to yeah. update this. Yeah. They need to make stamina standardification on the zone attack. They should. They absolutely should. Is is this it? Do we agree on this? Let's see. I mean Zakus is also no. 60 but Zakus is amazing, so it's fine. Zakus is there. Okay. Like I think that maybe we could like reorder B tier a bit. Because like I think S tier looks fine, E tier looks fine, A tier looks fine, D tier looks fine, and like the only things that uh, I haven't looked thoroughly at are B and C. And I think B might have a little bit of things to reorder, like specifically in the bottom half. Hmm. I feel like Kensei is should be a tad higher. I think it has um it has like some of the best range out of any attack in the game. It reaches so far. It's such a good peel tool, and it's kind of hard to punish because, like, the 360. Uh, yeah. You know, yeah. 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 And you know, like, the argument against Kensei is that you can see C for free if you're uh, like on the side. That's true, but um, who who are the characters in meta that can uh, that can CC right now? That's uh, so true. Uh, Kyoshi. Yeah, yeah, Kyoshi can. Okay. Okay. BP, I guess. Yeah, yeah, Kyoshi and BP War, those are the only and, and And you can also full block it. Which is, uh, like, really punishing for someone like Kyoshi. Okay. Like, can you do a fast enough on reaction, no, though? Like, but, uh, I mean, well, if you can like, full block it, or if you can light it on reaction, you can also, like, full block it on reaction, right? Uh, no, no. no. Uh, like, this scene takes 100 milliseconds for the CC property to initiate, uh, as well as 3, uh, 33 milliseconds for every offensive action. So it would take 133 milliseconds total. Full blocks vary in length, but they're normally about 200 milliseconds and they should also yeah. count as defensive actions. Which well, makes yeah. But you yeah. don't have to do it on reaction. If he throws it, it's just a guaranteed full block anyways. So you just see the regular, like you see the first hit of it in the full it? block. Kyoshin's oh. is like pretty long if I remember correctly. No, uh, it's, it's not very long. It's 200 milliseconds to get into it, same as BP. It's not too long, but it's 100 milliseconds slower. It's twice as long as CC. So we put the Kensei word. About Kyoshin. Yeah. This, I think, can go higher. Like, even close to here. Like, uh, above this because of stamina. Oh, cost. actually, I was wrong. Yeah, okay. uh, like, the all guard? Yeah, Kyoshin takes 300 milliseconds, which means there's no yeah. way in hell you fucking full block can see his own reaction. It's genuinely. Well, no, like, like, I think like we're talking about the. Uh, we're talking about, like, the. Uh, the extended property of it, like the second hits. 
Oh, yeah, but second, like, does that come in though? Like, no, uh, it, 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 it no, doesn't no, like, matter. Like, there, there's already a the second back end of the first ten. The back yeah, end of the first ten. You can't fan it. It's a guarantee. But like, what speed? Like, what time does that come out though? Like, how fast? Wait, that come out? I mean, BP can do it on reaction to him throwing the zone. Oh, okay, yeah. then yeah, yeah, never mind. Guaranteed. Like three seconds kind of than BP, but yeah. Like, I should take, yeah, but I think it, isn't stuff. flipping like 300 ms though? Because the no, actual flipping, action uh, of flipping takes 100 ms. No, 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 no. Yeah. So no, no the is, actual is, action of the flip is like an extra 100 ms. Oh, yeah, the, yeah the, the longevity, I guess. Yes, of the flip is the correct ms. Yeah. But uh, yeah, but like Yoshi can stay in Kaza infinitely, obviously. Well, yeah, but you wouldn't do that. Yeah. Uh -huh. I, I think okay. Meteor looks fine. I can't like Meteor. Yeah. Sit here. Okay. We spent mm. a lot of time on Sit here. Yeah. I think Sit here looks very good. I think Gladys is a bit overrated. Me too? Yeah, I, I, I agree with yeah. this. I actually agree with this. Like, they, like his only capability is in like 1v2. Like, it's a super yeah. situational zone, to be honest. Like, I actually like put it super low. I put it like somewhere around here. Yeah, like, I think that, like, you know, because he was one of the first characters to rank. I don't think his zone is that great. Yeah, I can, I can agree with this. I think this looks pretty decent. This, not much to debate on. I think a Zerk is better than Sent, in my opinion, because uh, you know, because of the yeah. gank. Yeah, I agree with that. I think we should value the gank a little bit more. Like, I, I think this is that, that is like his only gank, to be honest. Yeah, to be, yeah. But I don't think it's uh, it could. Yeah, I think it could like we, be like we value the Raiders gank. Yeah, we yeah. Do. Yeah, I'd say a bit hard, like for sure. I'd say below Warmonger, but below or below Warmonger would be at least this. I think above Warmonger. Yeah. yeah. I think buff is still a bit better because you can actually use it to peel. Yeah, uh, yeah. I agree. And clear me. I agree with that. Yeah. This is it. Do I say poor download? Yeah. I like it. Looks good to me. This is the zone attack tier list of 2022, ladies and gentlemen. I think we've done a really great job on it. Good work, good work.